A capacitor is a component that stores an electrical charge and then releases it. Capacitors are most often used to help start and run motors and compressors and can be found in central air conditioners, furnaces, and other heating and cooling applications, as well as in appliances such as refrigerators and washing machines. If the motor or compressor does not start or starts slowly, the capacitor may be defective. When a capacitor fails, it will often bulge or leak. If you observe any bulging or leaking, the capacitor must be replaced. If there are no visible signs of damage, the capacitor can be tested to determine if it's working properly. In this video, we will show two testing methods. The first test will help determine if the capacitor is capable of storing and then releasing its electrical charge and can be performed using an analog style ohm meter. Before handling the capacitor, you should release the potentially stored electrical charge to avoid injury. You can do this by placing a screwdriver with an insulated handle across each set of terminals. Be very careful not to touch the screwdriver blade. Now rotate the range selection dial on the meter to a setting of 1000 ohms or higher. If necessary, calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. To test a single capacitor, use a probe to touch one of the terminals and the second probe to touch the other terminal. The meter needle should deflect toward zero ohms and return toward infinite resistance. Reverse the probes and you should observe the same result. If the needle does not move or stays near zero ohms, the capacitor has failed. To check a dual capacitor, you will test between the common terminal and each of the other terminals. The common terminal is often identified with the letter C, with the other terminals labeled FAN and HERM or COMP. To test the FAN circuit, touch one probe to the common terminal and the second probe to the FAN terminal. As before, the needle should deflect towards zero ohms and return to infinite resistance. Repeat for the HERM or COMP circuit. A standard ohm meter can also help determine if the capacitor has shorted to ground. Place one probe on each of the terminals while touching the second probe to the side of the casing. No terminal should display continuity. If the meter does show continuity, then the capacitor has shorted and will need to be replaced. A second test will allow you to determine if the component is operating with a proper capacitance rating by measuring the microfarads. For this test, you will need a capacitor tester or a multimeter with a capacitor testing function. Before you begin, confirm that the charge in the capacitor has been released. When testing a single capacitor, note the microfarad rating on the component and choose the comparable setting on the tester or meter. Now connect the probes to the terminals and press the button to display the microfarad reading. The reading should be close to the rating on the component. Dual capacitors have two microfarad ratings. A higher rating is typical for the HERM or COMP circuit, and a lower rating is typical for the FAN circuit. As before, you should test each circuit separately to determine if the reading closely matches the rating on the component. If the reading indicates a low level of microfarads, the capacitor will need to be replaced. 